After the sun goes down, you may notice you can hear some AM radio stations broadcasting from the other side of the country. Jacob Morris explains how this is possible due to a special layer of our atmosphere. You might be surprised at what you can hear when scanning an AM radio at night thanks to electrons floating around many miles above our heads. Earth's ionosphere exists due to radiation from the sun and contains many electrically charged atoms and molecules. During the day, the long wavelengths of AM radio signals get mostly absorbed by the D layer of the ionosphere and the radio can only be heard within range of the ground wave. But at night, without solar radiation, the ionosphere becomes thinner and the lowest level of the ionosphere disappears. This allows for the AM radio waves to bounce back and forth between the remaining layers of the ionosphere and Earth's surface, traveling thousands of miles away. This is referred to as sky wave propagation or the skip. Because of this phenomenon, if all AM stations operated the same at night as they did during the day, there would be massive interference of radio signals. To avoid this, most AM stations either cease transmission at sunset or reduce their power. The stations with clearance to keep transmitting overnight are the ones you can pick up. One of these stations that people have fond memories of listening to thanks to the skip is KOMA out of Oklahoma City with its 50,000 watt signal back in the 60s and 70s especially. And even with a home setup, reaching others internationally is possible with AM radio at night. When I was a teenager, I had a radio set up in my bedroom and a, an antenna set up on my parents' roof and I would listen for radio frequencies. The farthest location I was ever able to contact was Australia, which was amazing. The skip conditions in the atmosphere, the ionosphere conditions were just right to have that radio signal bounce off the atmosphere several times to get all the way to the other side of the world, and it was, it was a phenomenal experience. Most radio stations are now available to be streamed online worldwide instead of having to rely on the skip to be able to pick up the signal at night. For your news leader, I'm Jacob Morris. Well, I can remember listening to baseball games on the radio late at night. I bet you can, Alan, and indeed I was just going to say the same type of thing. We can hear stations in Denver frequently here in North Dakota, and of course uh, KFYR 550 AM powerhouse signal here in the Northern Plains broadcasting out there.